All right, racing spirit. Let's do it. These spirited long distance high speed racing beasts are the pinnacle of the Grand Tourer. Sounds good. We got Porsche, Renault, and Aston Martin. Nice combo here. And first 25% completion is worth 9 gold, slightly more uh, than let's say typically what's available in bonus series because this is not a bonus series of course this is one of the main career series and uh, how many tiers does this one have apparently you need to earn 34 trophies to unlock all the tiers in this series 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 tiers. All right. 18 tiers and uh, three um, time trials. This last one, I wonder why there's a flag. Huh. That's not a time trial. <laughs> anyway, I think a uh, flag just means uh, when you reach that, it unlocks something new no yeah i don't know why the flag is at the end it just means you're completed <laughs> uh, but it is not a checkered flag <laughs> anyway all right uh first here pre-season after dark cup so we got night races here um a cup at hockenheim short uh speed record at uh le mans and elimination at Hockenheim National. All right, so we got two at Hockenheim and one in French countryside. All right, so let's start with uh, first cup race. And, oh yes, we can rent cars, can't we? So I can drive this nice Renault RS01, which by the way, is a racing dollar car which is becoming rarer and rarer these days but uh, yeah so once uh, I unlock this car uh, for the showcase um, event I will probably just buy it for 20% uh, 20% discount so let's give it a go with this Renault here Take a rental out for a spin. It's gonna be, let's say two laps. Two laps at Hoken I'm short. That's gonna be very short. And of course this car, I've never driven it in, at least not in this account. So it's brand new. we go all right grid of 16 so it's not a uh, largest of the grid but uh, we got some catching up to do in this uh, rather short race of just two laps and uh, Renault of course is gonna be the gripper out of the group of course the Vantage GTE being the sprinter and uh, well we all know 911 RSRs are the, the balance see that's what I mean 911 RSR probably a uh, much better car to race than let's say cars like Vantage GTE but I don't know something about the uh, fun cars that are a little bit more slippery All right, at least I can make this guy slip a little. All right, not just little. All right, let's not get too carried away. Get back to racing. Alright, 
second place all caught up. Another Renault. number one of this uh, soon to be expiring uh, main career series racing spirit not too bad and let's check out the fame bonus or okay friends beaten all right TSM already showing up even though I haven't won gold trophy until now was it thousand fame point? All right, not bad for two quick laps here at Hockenheim. Short, just a couple of minutes there. All right, it looks like just about almost everybody's racing Renault. I'm gonna have to customize this guy too. But for now, we'll get that first trophy. And let's see. Well, if we do the speed record, it's going to be a whole lap at Le Mans, which means it's going to put the car in red. But that's all right. Okay, so the top speed of Renault is 325. So. What's the target? Dun dun dun. 322. Ooh, that's gonna be close. Am I gonna be able to push it all the way up? I don't know. That is set by Vantage GTE. This might be a futile attempt with a stock Renault. Of course, we already know where top speed needs to be set That's the first Molson straight so it's all about how you come out of or how you handle how much speed you're able to carry through uh, Petro Rouge without doing what I'm doing which is skidding <laughs> Come on, show me that grip. All right, can we reach the acceleration? Does tend to get dampened towards the top. Nope. Seems like it's not gonna be enough. All right, so in that case, it's futile to try to make it through the rest of the way. And if you look at the numbers, yep. Moises Gabby, how did they get all the way up to the second place? All right, so bottom of the grid, of course, is all Renault. But top of the grid, um, the Vantage GT, the Sprinter, as you might expect. So, uh, we'll have to bring out the other car. We'll have to bring the Vantage GT ourselves for this one. So, all right, here we go. And the target this time is going to be, what are we going to get? 323. All right, so that's comparable, right? Once again, same idea. But this time, 
I'm expecting uh, relative ease in hitting the target considering I have a fully upgraded car alright this car as I said it's a little bit more slippery so I just have to be a little bit more careful there we go oh yeah that's not be easy look at that just like that that is a significantly I mean that, yeah the difference is pretty obvious Of course, this car is fully upgraded on top of, you know, but even when you run this car um, more closer to the base, the stock spec, I think this car still comes out way ahead when it comes down to top speed. It's kind of absurd how fast this car can go. And of course, Le Mans provides plenty of opportunity to really open up the top end of the speedometer. But, well, you know, try not to overdo it. As they say, keep the lid on since towards the later on in the series uh, I'm sure I'll have to really give it all so until we get there well you know take it easy enjoy the French countryside under the moonlight Final bit of Porsche curves. Final forge came. There we go. All right. Set that target speed early on, and then just uh, kind of cruise around the rest of the way. And nineteen hundred fame points for a lap around Le Mans here. All right, so yeah, the top ranks all set by the Vantage GTE. And then of course there's a big drop in number once you get to the Renault. Yeah, it's like night and day. And of course, it does take out a bit of service bars. But thankfully, the fully upgraded cars do get that service bonus or the race duration bonus. Oh, look at that. Uh, that was a second gold trophy and that unlocked the uh, tier number two. All right, not complaining. Uh, Anyway, let's keep going. We'll do elimination and we'll go back to our good old Renault because uh, 
you know, we'll try to spare the faster cars for more difficult races that is going to happen later on. So earlier on, if I can help it, I'm going to uh, race this uh, more tame Renault. Alright, and I see a fancy customized car, one of those TSM bobs, but no time to admire, I just realized, I forgot that this is an elimination, <laughs> that's how they get you, With all these beautifully customized cars that distract you, so hopefully I can do the same back at you if you see uh, one of the customized cars of mine in your grid please do feel free slow down uh, enjoy the enjoy the sight Keep up. Come on. All right. Let's check out this. Can't really see. That oh, looks like uh, the number is missing. The space for it though. I do enjoy seeing these customized cars on the track. I don't know if I play as much if you cannot customize these cars. Oh, do we just have one more car? Alright, well in that case, no reason to rack up mileage here. There we go. Gold trophy number three. Yeah, I don't expect much from clean race. Well, actually that was more clean race bonus than I was expecting and there was seven TSM bots meaning that was pretty much that was a grid full of TSM all right uh, legend manager is this saying he's the legendary manager what is that <laughs> all right um, 1,000 fame bonus. And it looks like in that one, we're all racing the same car. Good to know. All right, looks like I might be able to squeeze out maybe one more race with this car before needing to uh, service it. So let's continue on. But for now, uh, there's the trophy number three. Ah, we get the Vantage GTE showcase first. Not Renault. Interesting. All right, well, uh, for now, this will do for first tier. So we'll see you in the next tier. Take care.